Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn about nouns cases. Before we begin, please like, share and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed my channel. Now let's begin. What is a case? Case of a noun tells us about the position of a noun in a sentence and its grammatical function as a noun or a pronoun. For example, Tom killed a snake. Second one, a snake bit Tom. Third one, Jane is Tom's mother. Fourth, Tom, a president, is very honest. In the first sentence given above, Tom is the doer of the action. That is, Tom is doing the action and so he is the subject. In the second sentence, the action of biting by the snake completes with Tom. In other words, in this sentence, Tom is the object. In the third sentence, Tom's relation with Jane is expressed. And the fourth sentence, we see that Tom and a president are one and the same person. Thus, we see that in the above sentences, Tom the noun has been used in different states. Such a form of noun or pronoun as denotes its relation with other words in a sentence is called case. There are three cases of noun. Subjective or nominative case, objective or accusative case, possessive or genitive case. Let's begin with the first one, nominative or subjective case. When a noun or a pronoun is used as a subject of a verb, it is said to be in the nominative case. For example, the man hit the ball, the dog bit the stranger. In the first sentence, the noun man is the subject of the verb hit. It is answer to the question, who hit the ball? In the second sentence, the noun dog is the subject of the verb bit. It is the answer to the question, who bit the stranger? Thus, the nouns man and dog being subjects of first and the second sentence are in the nominative case. Note. The nominative case in a sentence can be found by asking the question who or what before the verb. Next one, objective or accusative case. When a noun or a pronoun is used as the object of a verb, it is said to be in the objective case. For example, the horse kicked the boy. John threw the ball. He broke the window. In these sentences, boy, ball and window are the objects of the verbs kicked, threw and broke. They are said to be in the objective or accusative case. Note, objective case can be found by putting the question whom or what after the verb. Like, when you ask the question for the first sentence, kicked whom? You get the answer boy. Through what? You get the answer ball. Broke what? You get the answer window. Hence, boy, ball and window are in the objective or accusative case. Third one, possessive or genitive case. A noun or a pronoun when it is used to show ownership or possession is said to be in the possessive or genitive case. Examples This is Tom's umbrella. Anu's bag is on the table. The first sentence shows that the umbrella belongs to Tom. So we use apostrophe S. The second sentence tells us that the bag belongs to Anu, so we add apostrophe S 
to a no. Note the possessive answers the question whose. Formation of possessives. In the case of singular nouns, we use apostrophe s. For example, the house of my uncle. In this sentence, you can see that the house belongs to uncle. So, when you write it in the possessive form, you write as my uncle apostrophe s and then house. So, it shows that it is my uncle's house. The second sentence, the palace of my king. Here, the palace belongs to the king. So, when you write it in the possessive form, it shows the king apostrophe s and then palace. Next is with the plural nouns that end in s, we just add an apostrophe after s. That is, we do not use apostrophe s. Instead, we only use an apostrophe mark. For example, the hostel meant for the boys. It shows over here that the hostel belongs to the boy. So, we write it in the possessive form as the boys hostel. And now here you can see that the noun boys is already in plural and it ends with s. So, you just add an apostrophe mark after s. So, it changes to the boys hostel. Second sentence, the uniforms of the soldiers. We are talking here about the soldiers, uniforms. So, when you change it in the possessive form, it changes to the soldier's uniform. And the noun soldiers is in the plural form. It already ends with S. S so, we just add an apostrophe. With the plural nouns that do not end in S, we use apostrophe S. If the sentence has a plural noun, but the noun does not end with an S, then we need to add apostrophe S. For example, the club for men. When you change it into the possessive form, it becomes men's club. The books for children. When you change it in the possessive form, it changes to children's books. So, here the word men and children are already in the plural, but they do not end with S. So, we need to add apostrophe S. The last one, apostrophe S usually not used with the non-living things. We do not use apostrophe S with the non-living things. Remember, a noun or a pronoun that is the subject of a verb is the nominative case. A noun or a pronoun that is the object of a verb is the objective case. A noun or a pronoun showing position or belonging is in the possessive case. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.